This video will show you how to edit an aid care plan when some of the information needs updated. It's very important to know there are different steps to take when the assigned aid is permanently changed or if the payer is changing. We do have another video you can watch for that process. From the aid care plan screen, select the care plan that needs updated and then click on the edit button. You'll go ahead and edit the information that needs updated. So that can be the task or the days of the week needs changed or the, the starting and ending time needs updated. So let's just say for this example, we forgot to add comb hair to the task list. You can go ahead and select that and then it will get added to the end of the task list here. And then let's say for Friday, the patient wants to be seen from 9 to 11 instead of 8 to 10. If the wrong pair was keyed in by mistake, you can go ahead and change that now. But if the payer is switching in the middle of an authorization period, then you'll use a different process to end the care plan and start a new one. Once you have made your changes and reviewed the information, you'll want to recreate the schedules so that the schedule on the AIDS app and on the schedule calendar gets updated. The only time it's not necessary to recreate the schedule is when only the information from the precautions or the special instructions tab or the case manager changes. Before we recreate the schedules, let me show you this filter icon down here at the bottom. It's located right next to the create schedules button. These dates represent the range of schedules that will get updated. So from the schedule calendar, the from date is going to default to the current date and the through date will be the end of the authorization period. So any schedule between those two dates on or between those two dates will get updated. If the actual visit has already occurred, the schedule will not get updated. So if the visit for the current day has already started or finished, the schedule will get skipped. An important piece of information to know is when you do recreate the schedule, it will override any manual updates that have been made to the schedule calendar if they are tied to the aid care plan. So for an example, if a substitute aid was added to a single entry um, for a visit that has not taken place yet, or if a time in or out was updated, those entries will get replaced with the information from this aid care plan. Uh, this checkbox down here for clear all unfinished visits, if you check this when you recreate the schedules, it can help fix any duplicate entries that are on the AIDS uh, CareChamp app. So once you've made all your changes and you're ready, you can just click on Create Schedules and that process alone will go ahead and update all the scheduled entries that um, fall between this from and through date down here at the bottom. Once you're finished, you can click on Save Plan.